and welcome to another episode of 10 Minute Trips. In this episode, we're going to saint jean d'Arve in southeastern France as part of the Les Abelles Ski Resort. My journey over to France ended late into the evening. And after some delicious food with our hosts, it was off to bed. My room was comfortable and traditional with really good decor and a cozy vibe. I had a modern ensuite shower room equipped with all that I needed to soak and refresh myself before the action-packed day ahead. We stayed at Hotel Le Balm in the village, situated partway up the mountain with a fantastic view of the slopes. As I would soon find out. First up today, I am going up to the mountains to do some exploring and some beginner's alpine skiing, so let's see how it goes. Before we could get on the slopes, we needed some gear. And Les Abelles has a lot of ski hire shops to choose from, where you can get yourself kitted up if you don't have your own skis, board or safety equipment. The staff here are very welcoming and helpful and are happy to assist you in finding the right boots, poles and skis for you. When you finally get up there, in the brisk, refreshing mountain air, surrounded by fantastic sights, you get a feel for just how tiny we are in this awesome landscape. However exciting it is to get on your skis and start zooming around the place, it's worth taking the time to just stand and recognize the beauty of this place. Ready to go, we were introduced to our ski instructor, Sebastian, who lives here, working in the village as an instructor during the snowy months and a sculptor during the warmer months. He was even kind enough to point out some of his work to us as I tackled a ski lift for the first time. Here you can see the sculptor wood. It's mine, I do it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's lovely. The it's mountain goat. That's lovely, that it's is. my job in the summer. Sebastian built up our confidence and took us down some green slopes to get back into the habit of the snowplow. As it had been a fair few years since I'd last been skiing, but it wasn't long before some of us were racing down the slopes, often overtaking him, though not always deliberately. But skiing's not the only great activity you can get stuck into up the slopes. We paused for a few moments to try and spot some wildlife that live up here in the mountains. Today we were looking for goats and Sebastian took the time to line up our monocular to check out the other local residents. Okay, I'll admit, I didn't see any goats this time, but I had something far better to look forward to. Huskies. This was by far my favorite part of the trip. It was awesome. friend Tasman and I piled into a sled and raced down the snowy landscape, surrounded by a huge pack of gorgeous energetic huskies, who spend five days a week zooming around the place with tourists shrieking excitement behind them. It's a really popular activity and great for families, so to guarantee your chance to try this out, you need to book in advance, but I highly recommend it. Thank you. 
The Huskies are attentive and eager to get going, whining whenever they have to stop. These dogs work as a pack, with the Alpha at the front, leading the rest down the snowy slopes. Each and every dog seemed in tune with the owner and instructor, jumping into action whenever they heard the whistle. In the same way as our dogs at home love to please, these Huskies seemed to react to the excited noises they were hearing from their giddy passengers, and at times even howled along with us. Amongst other fantastic experiences available at Lesabelle's various ski resorts, I tried out snow biking, which is more tailored to experienced mountain bikers. And we switched to snowmobiles when snow biking didn't work out so well for me. I got to relax and refresh myself for the next day in the spa at Hotel Lesabelle at Le Corbiere. I also got to meet some really friendly people who run the various sites and learn more about what these places have to offer eager tourists who want a five-star genuine French Alps experience. So we are sitting in Hotel Les Irelles, which was founded about 50 years ago. It's family owned, it's the second generation managing it. The food at Hotel Les Irelles was delicious, wonderfully presented and prepared by very gifted, experienced chefs who put a lot of effort into serving top quality French cuisine. While in Le Corbiere, I was treated to a rare snow groomer experience that's available to tourists usually through competitions. In the pitch black, we ascended the slopes once more, only this time in a huge vehicle designed for refreshing the snow for the next day of skiing and boarding. Seat belts were a must as we descended again, really getting a feel for how steep the slopes actually are. It was all over too soon for me. And as I headed back home, I got to reflect on all that I had seen and all that I had loved about Les Abel. To start, the experience of outdoor skiing beats indoor any day. You're surrounded by beautiful landscapes, you get to mingle with local residents, and you get to hear their stories. I got to make the most of visiting a resort that's fueled by the passion of a close-knit community who loves snow sports, delicious foods, traditional practice, and who've created a welcoming, cozy atmosphere, catering for families that want a genuine French Alps experience. My highlights? Well, it has to be the Huskies. Even those who aren't necessarily dog lovers can find the fun in this activity. The adrenaline rush, the chance to soak up all the sights from a different perspective. And for those who do love dogs, the chance to meet the pack leader and have a good fuss. There was so much to discover. And when you're not up the slopes, you can explore the villages and check out local and traditional trades like, you guessed it, cheese. Tours are available at the factory in saint jean d'Arve, where you get to see how they make the cheeses used in local restaurants and sample the goods. The food is another thing entirely. Top quality cuisine you'd expect to see in a five-star restaurant in London, with a potentially huge bill to end your meal, is served here at prices that make eating out in Les Abel affordable for everyone. But nothing beats the quiet, beautiful scenery, fresh air and bright blue skies. And no matter what activity you get up to, you can't help but be distracted because you might just be in one of the most beautiful places in Europe.